In this video, we're gonna take you on a horseback journey into the back country of Banff National Park. Carla, a Canadian couple with two totally different backgrounds, sharing our experience and advice about traveling in Canada. After almost a decade of world travel, we decided to focus on our home country of Canada and see how deep we could go. This started with a 150 day road trip from coast to coast to coast, showcasing some of the best things to do in each province and territory. We thought we'd see it all on that road trip, but we barely scratched the surface. So follow along as we continue to explore the second largest country on Earth. Our lunch spot. Healy Creek is called and it's a looks more like a river to me. <laughs> and I was so happy to be here. We're sore now. Yeah, only a couple hours this time and I'm a little bit sore, but yeah, I guess it's to be expected. Yeah, but it was a lovely ride and now I'm kind of hungry. Mm, I'm pretty excited for lunch. I never expected yeah. a steak for lunch. I think I like steaks better over the fire. So another important part of a trail ride is the mules because they carry, you know, a lot of your bags up for us. So they're pretty awesome. And it turns out this one's name is Kate and yeah. she likes her ears rubbed. So they said that you should scratch her somewhere here. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if she's like Or heads it. down, so maybe yeah. that's fine. There's a grizzly bear on the other side of the river. This is always the most exciting part of the trip. <laughs> Home sweet home for the next two days. Oh, we just arrived to our bedroom. I'm super excited to sleep tonight. Uh, there's actually eight bedrooms in this lodge. We have one of the ones with a, a double bed. But it's a very nice lodge. They even have hot showers, which I also can't wait to take. And outhouses, but there's also bathrooms inside the lodge so it's pretty i mean for being in the back country it's pretty luxurious one thing to mention matthew is super allergic to horses <laughs> he can barely breathe right now he's been taking some uh, allergy pills and yeah. an inhaler so he really needs to have a shower and me too otherwise he won't sleep tonight there's three cute little marmots hanging out and it's the first time we've seen them they're so cute has been a little bit more exciting because there's been a lot of up and downs and very beautiful views but I lost my phone so never put your phone here I knew I don't know I felt it coming and I, I don't even know where I lost it so I don't know we're gonna try to look for it on the way back but I don't know I'm just trying to think what are the chances I found my phone while Tyler did. 
<laughs> for me. Super lucky. So don't put your phone in your pockets of your jeans or shirts. Put it in your saddlebags or in a phone clip or something like that. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Last day we're heading back today. It's been a great three days here and last night was actually summer solstice so we had the, uh, it was very bright all the way up until we went to bed anyways, close Eleven. to midnight. Yeah. We even had almost a full moon in the sky so just a, a beautiful night to enjoy the campfire. And a great last night here in the back country of Banff National Park. this point so this time we cross the bridge instead of going across the river um, yeah, it was a new experience Well, that was our last meal of the trip. Yeah. Just a quick lunch before heading back into Banff. Yeah, super good. The, the meals have been so good. The staff is super friendly and the landscapes are just amazing. So we highly recommend to maybe get on a horse and explore the back country. Yeah, and even if you can't go on a big trip, they have like, you know, everything from a one hour tour to a full day. We did the three day, two nights. They even offer a six day trip, which would be awesome because they go even deeper into the back country. We stayed at Sundance Lodge, really beautiful. And it's right next to a smaller one called 10 Mile, which is a national historic site because it was a cabin used by CP Rail when they built the railroad probably a good hundred years ago. Yeah, and it's a special place because also it's the only place that you can see marmots. <laughs> or at least that we know of. I've never seen one and they have resident ones there. We saw four. Yes. They're always scurrying across the ground, eating yeah. grass or something. <laughs> yeah, so we have a lovely stay and we hope we inspire you to maybe get out and explore this way. So if you like this video, give yeah. us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, hit that subscribe button and visit our website at mustycanada.com. Yeah! <laughs> from you that's for sure they're like this girl's voice and accent is annoying <laughs> they're like look how she's calling your name Oscar <laughs>